I'm fucking asleep again. Uh, right, I, I'm going to carry on with... Uh, well, I'm going to go back in time, back in time, to when Roy, the member of staff, bought the fucking yacht that we went to France. I don't know where he found it, but we had to go and um, have a look at it. You know, it was somewhere near Paul, I'm not sure, so... Um, I was in a kid's home in Salisbury, so like, uh, I, I was quite lucky and fortunate to be on the back of his Ducati 996 all the way, and I do remember we were on until carriage road and there was a couple of coppers parked up in a, in a lay-by. Uh, like we were going out past. Like, I was on the back and I just waved at him. <laughs> and I vaguely said waving back. But, yeah, we were pissing past the hell of a place. I don't know, probably doing 120 or something stupid. Uh, we, got, we got to see, we got to meet this fucking bloke in a, in a yacht yard who was actually in a dry dock at the time it wasn't even in the water and we ran and, and this fucking bloke only turned out to be some sort of like major who had been in the SAS quite weird I know and I was looking at his boat and he like he'd hadn't built the inside fuck me he'd done a pack of job of it I, I was shitting on it, like, I, his fucking carpentry skills were fucking excellent. And it, it was proper kitted out as well. And, wow. And like, and, there was five of us in the fucker who, when we set off to go to France. I know. Steve ran away when we got the other way, because... Terry being a wanker got us instantly stuck on the sandbank on the way to the other way for a second. That yeah, was only for a second. And obviously Captain Roy fucking had a pop at me. And I went, yeah, sorry Roy, I'm on my phone. I didn't know it was there. <laughs> well, I could see it. <laughs> All right, the fucking bottom of the boat. Well, because... Because it's got weight on the bottom hanging down, it, it fucking got stuck on us. It was only stuck there for a fucking, oh, I don't know, about half a minute. But obviously, the way Roy had it go at me, because Steve was my sort of little best mate. No, no. I was in his book. I no, no. Yeah, we got to go in that. But, no, 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 I'm not bad in the book. I'm a mate of his, you know, a bit like he's a mate of mine in my book. Then, yeah, I'm seeing him for quite, I know, no, I've lost touch with all these people since they wiped me off Facebook in 2020. But, I'm sure they're still there. They're doing all right. They don't need my help. They should still have my phone number. Because I haven't fucking changed my phone number. <laughs> but, yeah, I know. We change phones. I've lost their phone numbers. Cause, yeah, I've changed hell of a lot of phones over the years. I know, it took me fucking eight phones just to get one to work this fucking year. And that kind of, oh no, I'm on it now, but this is phone eight. My phone broke last year in sort of October, November time. And it took me eight phones to get this cunt to work. And I didn't get this one. And I, I did have to go through eight phones to get this one. Because they 
just weren't playing with them. And this one's fucking playing up and all. Every time we go to the hospital, it goes fucking sketchy as shit. It fucking brings people up randomly and fucking te even texts myself. I know, I was quite shocked as shit to see a text from myself. And it was total gibberish, but I could not make it out. No, I never did work that way. But hey, fucking technology. Um, but, uh, I don't know. I do live in a very weird world, Terry. Um, shit, it's not normal. It's definitely not a normal world day. But I have got sweet dreams of a happy ending. And, yeah, fuck it. I'm going to go for it. I want a happy ending. Don't you? I'm sure we all want a happy ending, maybe, don't we? I, I'm just saying, out of curiosity, I know. I'm pretty sure they're not wrong. I don't know, can you hear the dogs snoring in the back of the game? I don't know, I'm just watching Sky events as well, just to keep my eye on or something. I don't know, I have to keep my eye on what's going on. It's like, if you ever want to go to sleep, you have to go back. In time and listen to the weather shipping broadcast. <laughs> but like, will it, will it, will they get past that dreary music mm -hmm. where it used to make me fucking dizzy as well? But then they used to start talking the weather language. And you have to understand, right, that there's, there's different measurements what they're on about, you know. Like this wind speed, wind direction. And then there's fucking wave height and fucking shit and swell. And then there's fucking barometer readings and and, uh, and then there's fucking air temperature. And then, uh, when you start fucking about with that weather, fucking forecast. Shit. No one of the fucking wankers got confused when they started playing with the weather. Fuck, you know. Just reading it is bad enough. Fucking playing with it. You are definitely playing with fucking severe fire and floods. And a lot fucking worse. If you, if you fucking ask for that shit, you will get it, that shit. And what's going on in the world? I didn't ask for it. I'm sure you didn't ask for it. But these evil soulless fucking overlords want to fucking take the piss. They fucking made this shit. And mummy nature is fighting back to stop this shit. So there is a little bit of a weather war going on. Don't, don't fucking worry about the climate and none of that crap. That's irrelevant. Don't worry about time, that's irrelevant. Don't worry about dimensions, that's irrelevant. Mm -hmm. Just fucking hang in there. Look, we're coming mm -hmm. sort of to the crunchy part where, yeah, there's shit or bust. But done well, mm -hmm. trust me. Before I started fucking gambling on this fucking hand, I knew that I had a fucking winning hand. I got the best hand in the fucking game. Um, you can't beat that hand. There's absolutely no fucking chance. And I've thrown, I've gone fucking completely all in and a bit more. And I, I, I've borrowed as much as I can to go with it. And trust me, I'm a little bit in debt. <laughs> just, just a tad bit, but yeah, I could take a debt because I know that I'm going to win. But don't you worry. Mm -hmm. Terry had a point of proper job. 
first week. And when you come from Devon, I know I had a point of draft, proper job. I've only had proper job out of bottles, I had a draft, proper job. I said I enjoyed it. And a real weird conversation mm. with a few people. I must be uh, Corporal Tom did tell me a couple of good jokes. Mm. The ladies with a dog, well, I've forgotten the name of. Mm, but I know Nora would have liked to meet him. Yeah, but yeah, but yeah, no, but yeah, yeah, but no, but yeah, yeah, but no, but. I know, little Britain going fucking pressure. Computer says no. Computer says no. Yeah. No, don't malfunction. Mm. <laughs> nah, I'm just having a laugh. Poor old Moldy said to Slow Key. Darling, please sit down. You know the fuck you on that tree? And she said, yeah. Oh, God, I shouldn't have said that, but luckily this is X-rated.